Hi, I'm Scott Fitzgerald with Optical Cable Corporation, and today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to install our Express Ultra LC and SC connectors onto a 2 or 3 millimeter subunited cable. The components included in the Express Ultra LC and SC fiber connector are the connector itself with wedge clip, the boot, a tube, the Aramid yarn stopper, and an Aramid yarn pre-stopper. The specific tools you will need are a cable jacket stripper, a precision fiber cleaver, a visual fault locator, an attenuator, launch cable, and zirconia split sleeve for visible fault checking, a thermal buffer removal tool, lint-free wipes and cleaning solution, and all of these tools are available from OCC as a complete kit. Step 1. Preparing the connector. Remove the connector from the bag. Save the bag to refer to the strip length gauge later on. Ensure that the wedge clip is firmly seated to the connector. Squeeze the wedge clip to ensure that it is firmly seated to the connector. Step 2. Installing the boot. Trim the tube to a length of 18 millimeters. If installing on a 2 millimeter subunit cable, install the boot, the tube, the aramid stopper, and the aramid pre-stopper. For 3 millimeter cables, like I'm using today, discard the tube and install the boot, the aramid stopper, and the aramid pre-stopper. Step 3. Removing the jacket and stripping the fiber. Cut the subunit jacket back to 57 millimeters. Fold the aramid back and then using the gauge on the packaging, strip the fiber back to 30 millimeters. Step 4. Screening and cleaning your fiber. Bend the fiber back and forth several times using your finger. If the fiber breaks, restrip and try again. If the fiber does not break, clean it using a lint-free wipe moistened with your cleaning pen. Step 5. Cleaving the fiber. Insert your fiber into your cleaver such that the end of the buffer aligns with the 10 millimeter mark on your scale. If you do it right, the end of the subunit jacket should end up right against that stopper. Close the lid, push the button to cleave the fiber, and open the lid back up. Verify that your fiber has been cleaved to a length of 10 millimeters. Step six, prepare the visual fault locator. Take your visual fault locator and install the attenuator, the single mode launch cable, and the zirconia split sleeve. Choose the launch cable and zirconia split sleeve that best match with the connector you are installing. Step seven, install the Express Ultra connector. Connect the Express Ultra connector to your zirconia split sleeve. You should notice a red light in the first window of the connector. Step eight, inserting the fiber. Insert the fiber into the Express Ultra connector ensuring that there is a bend in the fiber. You should see a notable difference in the amount of light coming out of the side windows of the connector. Step nine, removing the wedge clip. Open the gate and squeeze the sides of the wedge clip to remove it from the connector. Step 10, troubleshooting. If bright light is still seen in the window of the connector, you can modify the connector properties by reinserting the wedge clip and adjusting the connection. Attach the wedge to the connector and make sure there is no space between the wedge and connector. Repeat steps 3 through 10 to re-terminate your connection. This can be done a maximum of one time. Step 11. Fitting the boot. Fold the aramid up on both sides of the connector. Slide the aramid pre-stopper up onto the connector. While holding the aramid in one hand, install the aramid stopper. The aramid stopper will thread on, but try not to twist the aramid in the process. Now slide on your boot. For a two millimeter cable, you'll install the tube and then the boot. But for this three millimeter cable, there is no tube, just the boot. Now pull your aramid aside and trim it using shears. OK, 
Congratulations, your termination is now complete. For additional information on the OCC Express Ultra LC and SC fiber connectors and other related products, please visit our website at occfiber.com.